Hello everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage, it's welding day on Olive. And my mum and dad have set on hoovering out the interior of the van. Can't stop them, what can I say? There's mum hoovering out the engine bay. Cause that's what mums do. Say hi mum. So I bought myself a couple of things to help with uh, doing the welding easy. One is, rather than try and fabricate anything for the floor of the van, this is a sheet of cargo floor for a T2. Um, that size, I think 300 by 900, could be wrong. Um, got from Just Campers. It's just over a millimetre thick, fits the profile of the floor perfectly. You can cut pieces off that to make up repairs. And because the floor is such a funny shape, my flap wheel on an angle grinder wasn't really cutting the mustard. So, bought myself a finger grinder. What are they calling it? Uh, power belt file, 13 mil power belt file. And that'll help clean up the edges. So, let's show you what I'm gonna do. Going to be difficult to film everything in terms of uh, detail of what I'm up to because I'll be in my own way. But to give you the idea, this is the worst bit I'm looking at again. Use a piece of this. There we go. Um, dropped onto the floor. Slide it up to there. I'm going to cut a section off of this. I'm going to then take it off. I'm going to put a flat piece vertically on the back of here, form it onto the good solid metal here, and then probably overlap well just because none of this will ever be seen and quicker and easier. Um, these pieces in and fabricate pieces for the corner from flat and do all my bits and bobs of patching. Um, won't be the prettiest, but it will be significantly stronger than we've got now. And I'm going to grind away all the rotten metal, so we're only going on to solid. I saw that off. And a piece of flat for the vertical part. I was just offering up the sheet to the corner this nice profile gauge what we can do is use that to pick up the shape of that member there and then transfer it, pull it back, and you can transfer it onto the sheet metal. And while it's still there, so when this comes off there, mm -hmm. Is this going off in one, the whole lot? A whole lot if I can. If you can, yeah. That's but, um... Because if the bottom comes off, then the sides is a bit higher or lower, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's all I was thinking. In fact, it might be easier to split it straight away across. Yeah. And then do that as a separate piece. Yeah. Plan A.
So for this piece, we do butt welding, which is the more professional, because being flush means it's not going to affect the floor above it. And you achieve that by cutting out your patch, then drawing around your patch, then cutting out the hole. And that way you ensure you get a reasonable fit. Um, I'm using a MIG welder. Nothing too professional. I've got a Clark Weld 135TE uh, with a gas bottle. Not going really well with the gasless ones, with the flux in the wire. That didn't seem to work for me. And I always find that really good. I use a uh, auto dimming LCD mask because you can see what you're doing until the arc strikes and then it dims and a really good idea is check what's underneath where you're welding. With a strong light underneath the van you can see where the gaps are and adjust the little uh, patch so that you've got a decent gap all the way around.
How's that? to clean the metal up. Um, we've got the floor all fully welded up. We've got some zinc protective paint to stop the rusted, uh, the areas that have been welded from re-rusting. And we're doing some seam sealer. Got this from uh, Built Hammer, or Built Hammer, I should say. So this is... Uh, Dynax seam and because it's been delivered through the post it is clipped very good decent quality seam sealer can be um, quite fumy so I've got the doors open got the tailgate open um, and I'm gonna be putting my respirator on just to give it a little bit of extra protection You can see it's quite thick stuff. I'm using a stiff little brush. Remember, whatever you use with this stuff, it's probably bye bye brush, so no Harris's to be used here. 